Hey everybody, Sean here and welcome to Revealing Truth. In today's video, we'll hear false apostle Catherine Crick twisting words to make it seem like discernment is a bad thing, again. Her problem is, is that she can't differentiate between exposing and pushing people down. So let's listen to this short video. It's the Lord that lifts the humble. It's not people who lift the humble. God does not need our help to lift us. It is God who casts the wicked to the ground. It's God who humbles the proud, not people. And God uses people to do most things. But when it comes to pushing people down, humbling the proud, that's not our job. That's the one of the few things that God reserves for just himself, no vessels required. It is not our job to push people down. It is not our job to speak against people, even if we're really determined we're right. But God lifting up the humble and humbling the proud has nothing to do with exposing false teachers. And exposing people's false teachings is not pushing them down. Even if we are right, it's just not our job. God does not need our help. The big like reasoning why many people do talk about servants of God is that for one, maybe they really believe a person is wrong, a person is false, and they themselves are like, they need to be pushed down. I need to do something about this. Once again, if someone is false and leading people astray, it's got nothing to do with pushing them down. It's about exposing error that's leading people astray. And they think that God is sleeping and God needs them to do it, to push the person down. What? We think God's sleeping, so we need to push that person down? Okay. Sometimes it's not even out of a bad intent. They feel like this is wrong. People need to know but it still is not your role. God does not need your help. God himself will do exposing. The Bible says, my sheep know my voice. This is yet another take on the last video we did about her deflecting criticism. And yes, it is our job to expose false teachers because God told us to in Ephesians 5.11. His real sheep will hear his voice leading them and guiding them to the true places, the true anointed places, not the false ones. But nobody follows God perfectly. We are in a spiritual battle and can be deceived. All I know is that if Catherine is having to make so many videos trying to label people that call out false teachers as being wrong, then she must be feeling the pressure from more than one source. She is money hungry, a false demon slayer, a false apostle, and a deceiver. And you can learn much more about her by watching videos in her playlist here on Revealing Truth. This video is not to push her down. This is to help you escape her many false teachings before it's too late. So with that being said, leave your comments below. And until next time, take care. And God bless.